Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Let's make sure this is in focus. All right, it is a brisk Sunday morning. Going to Tallahassee. Lola, like James Brown style, Lola's bringing me my uh, jacket here. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, All right, <laughs> whatever. Okay, we are going to Tallahassee for the rally and tally right now. Taking the Ram Rebel. Let's get on the road because we got to meet some people. This is meant to be. There's my uh, production assistant. Hi. He's apparently cold. I don't know. It's, it is cold. It's not that cold. It's nice. It's nice out. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh, look at you. Big Daddy Guns right over the big there. Daddy guns. There we go. Sherry, I'm gonna text you the address. Thank you. So, there you go. You, I'll show you guys them later, but we're not like, we're not riding in the same vehicles or anything like that. Oh, we're not? Know. Yeah, no. Well, All right. Going let's to do see that. your son or something afterwards. Well, yeah. can you come home with us if that's the case? Yeah. All right, so let's do this. All right, All right see Who's taking the lead? Let's go. I'll go. That's my glasses look like that. What the heck is that? All right, so we finally made it here. Just park the cars. This is our little parking. There's the crew, there's the Big Daddy Guns crew right there. The booties, the booties of the Big Daddy Guns crew. Okay, so we're, we're walking around the capital, looking for the people. Uh oh, I think I see the people. I think I see the people. We're about to, we're about to run into the people right now. What's up? Check it out, look. There he goes, there he goes. Angry American. How's it going, man? Good. Good, how's that going? This is the whole family. Guys, in, in 
Florida right now, I mean, before, you could not buy a handgun, right? So now you can't buy anything. That's what these guys are talking about. Do you consider yourself men and women? Hell yeah! I think yeah. you do, right? Yeah. You know, they, we say like when you get to 18, you're a man. I think it's maybe like 16, 17. You're pretty much a man or a woman when you feel like you're a man or a woman. But in America, in Florida, we're saying no, you're not. Okay, because someone did something and they were 19. What happens when someone does something else and they're 29? Should we push it up? What, what about if they're 39? Should we keep pushing it up? That's what we're dealing with in America. Slowly we're suffering from paper cuts. Okay, our freedom has been taken away every day. And we have to fight for that. We have to push back. Whether we voted for someone or we didn't vote for them, we have to hold them accountable. Okay? And I know that whatever I have, whatever abilities, whatever reach, the people that, you know, know who I am, the, the influence that I have, being on the internet, being on YouTube, I'm going to use that to push back against the people that try to take the Second Amendment away from us. I don't care where they came from. Do you guys care what their party is? what their affiliation is if they take the Second Amendment away from you? Because I don't care about that, and they need to remember that. Tyrants! They, yes, they're tyrants. They say that we should negotiate. We should give a little bit to get something back. We've given so much already, right? Do you guys want to keep giving up stuff? Exactly. So no matter who that is, we have to let these people behind us know that are just making up rules. These guys don't even know what happened recently in this school shooting. They don't even know. They haven't figured it out yet, but what they've figured out is that they want to do something else to infringe on the Second Amendment. They've figured that out already, okay? We have to keep pushing back against these people regardless of who they are, whether or not we voted for them. We have to keep pushing back against this, guys. You know, I'm, I'm living here, I grew up in New York City. You know, I'm not super proud of that. <laughs> but I'm glad that I found Florida, and I and I plan on, st on like spending the rest of my life here. Okay, my children are here. I have a 17-year-old and an 18-year-old, and these guys are taking the Second Amendment away from them, and they're going to keep moving the goalpost. So the things, the thing that I want to say to you guys is, you have the ability to vote. You have the ability to make your voices heard on this thing called the internet. You know, if you don't know what to say, share what the guys like me and the other people out here do. Okay, look for the politicians who really believe in the Second Amendment. Vote for those guys. Let's stop voting in the really cool people. Okay, let's stop getting the rock stars and the reality stars in the White House and in Congress, in the State House. Let's put the real people in there that believe in the Second Amendment, okay? So, that's what I believe in. I'm extra age. Thanks a lot for inviting me here, guys. Thanks to everyone that uh, helped us share this, share this message and get it out here. God bless America. Thank you. This guy knows how to shop. He's a fashion aficionado, right? Forged from here. freedom. Yeah, forged from freedom in the house. Hanks Hanks in, case, in case of emergency. Yeah. I wish I actually had a beard. You know, <laughs> we can work on yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, but he's a good guy. Yeah, he's a good guy. We're having a fun time here. Uh, I don't know what you guys thought about my speech. What you, would you think, Jane? His voice is dying. I thought it was great. You really spoke from what I believe was the heart of the 2A community. And as an American, you, you spoke truth to the crowd, man, and it's a pleasure to have you here. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. It's a pleasure being here. <laughs> All right, guys, so I ran into a group of young people here, and what we're here in Tallahassee for directly affects young people. So these are Students for Freedom, guys? Young Americans. Young, young Americans. Freedom. Young Americans for Freedom. There you yeah. go. So, Tiffany, um, tell us again, like, reiterate some of the stuff that you said up there, and I'm going to put it on my channel. All right, well, some of the things that I pretty... I pretty much had three points to this. One was that you no know, raising the age to 21 mm -hmm. for purchasing r rifles and shotguns are not a good idea. Right. Uh, primarily because you know the Second Amendment exists. 18 year olds are citizens. Absolutely. And, and, and you're grown ups. Exactly. Yes. There are a lot of rep re responsibilities put on 18 to 20 year olds. Whether or not you're college students, like leaving your home for the first time and you have to defend yourself. Single mothers, military members, policemen, first responders. I mean, these people have so many responsibilities, and they should have 
the rights that pretty much any other U.S. citizen, law-abiding U.S. citizen should have. I want all of you to contact your House member and say, we can't have it, enough is enough, vote no on the anti-gun bill. Yeah. Yeah. I like the attitude that you have right now because I believe it's going to take real people who have real lives and real jobs to let our representatives know that the left doesn't run the show. No, they don't. Here, 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 here. They work for us. They do work for us, sir. We will stand steadfast, the constitutional conservatives, but we need your help. Who am I? I'm Representative Jay Fant from Jacksonville, and I'm running to be your Attorney General when the Cabinet rolls over. We knew the time would eventually come to defend our rights against absolute despotism and tyranny. That is precisely why I would submit to you here today that the Second Amendment was written in the first place. The more we travel down this bad path, the more that that seems like the scenario we are coming to, to defend what's ours. Our founders would not only expect us to defend the Second Amendment, they would demand it of us as Americans. Also, meaning no tax or okay. fees so, to get the uh, for a right. We're getting, we're getting ready to uh, get out of here. You know, people are still here, lots of good speeches going on, having a good time. <laughs> you know, um, so the thing, the thing that we're going to do now, I'm going to go check up on my son at FSU. You guys, if you follow my channel, you know that my uh, older son goes to FSU. We're here on the on the state capitol. It's not far from there, so we're gonna. Babyface is here. He's about to get out. You know. There you go. Thanks for coming by. Yeah. We, That's my brother right there, man. Fun. It was fun today. Yeah. We had one person just yelling, but overall it was. No, great. it wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't. You know, I, I don't 100% agree with him, but there yeah. were no. I don't think was, there were. The we let him talk. Remember that. There were no. We problems let that guy here. talk. There were no no problems. Yeah. Nobody. No, these are gun people, man. We're yeah. peaceful. And he apparently had peaceful. a shirt that he took off before going up there, so we had No, he off. hit it. He zipped he it up. He zipped, zipped it up. Oh, is that what he did? Yeah, yeah, but I don't like Nazis either, so. No, <laughs> so yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> who does? Yeah, no one does. No one does. Look, here's the here's the Big Daddy Guns guys. Right behind me, Tony, Sherry. What I love about these guys, man, they put they put everything where their mouth is, not just the money. They put everything where it is. They're here today <laughs> fighting for the Second Amendment. That's awesome. You know what? Oh, here's James. Here we go. Here's James. James Ledger. You guys saw him on the channel. It's one of the guys who's organizing all of this. Tell us about who else is helping with the organization here so we can shout him out, man. Yes, yeah, so it's Matt Johnson. Okay. Matt Johnson. Thank you. Thomas Jackson. Thomas Jackson. Thank you. I'm translating for him in case you can. <laughs> Liz. Okay. Liz. Debbie. Debbie. Doug. Doug. Um, oh my God, the list is huge. Yeah. I'm every speaker. I will. Yeah. Thank you, Mama. Thank you, Mama. Mama and me. Oh. oh, okay. Uh, thanks, Dad. Yeah. <laughs> thanks, Dad. Uh, thanks, Dad. Thanks, Dad. And, uh, thank you, Hank Strange. <laughs> yeah, you're thank welcome. You, you're Big welcome. Daddy Guns. Absolutely. Thank you, Big Daddy Guns. <laughs> yeah. They are trying to lead the movement here in Florida, folks. Yeah. Support your local gun stores since Dick's Sporting Goods and Walmart is now telling you to. Yeah, if you believe in the Second Amendment, you believe in guns, put your money where your mouth is. Mm -hmm. Support Big Daddy Guns. Support them. They're fighting for you like I am. You guys came on Hank's show when I was on there and said you support me, you support Hank. Support Big Daddy Guns. That's no joke. They're out here fighting just as freaking hard. Yeah, absolutely. Amen. All right, so we're, we're, we're out of here, guys. There you go. Listen. You gotta stand up, man. You gotta stand up and let your voice be known. Don't let, don't let these politicians dictate your future for you. Don't let them speak for you. Do it for yourself. And uh, if you're like me and you believe in the Second Amendment, you gotta stand up for it. Peace. See where I am? On my state capitol grounds right there, fighting for the Second Amendment.